is given, no, you tell me why you sent my son to the office. Yes. I will block a person and then I unblock them because I'm like, it's been so long, they're not going to call no more. But then I have to sit with myself and be like, then why not just leave them on block? I'm rising y'all so it is currently 7 17 a.m i've been up since six something got myself together now i'm gonna get my water in so i'm gonna drink my water and then i'm going to get dressed and i'll see you guys in a minute hey y'all so this is my outfit for today real cash is given no you tell me why you sent my son to the office yes that's what it's given it's giving grown woman don't mess with my kid because i'm gonna be the one to bring it to ya. vibes see y'all in the core bow bow makeup done y'all notice something about me Pro probably not change my Y'all not, I'm feeling good today, okay? It's 8, it is, it's 8.20. Who's still in the bed? Not me. Who, who's sleeping for five more hours and waking up at two because I went to sleep at six? Not me. Not me. Uh-huh, see y'all at the gas station. Uh-huh. The next left, then your destination will be on the left. close to my car while I was trying to put my damn groceries in the car. I said, bitches, you finna come and, and snatch my camera? I ain't know who the fuck he was. He just walking real close to the car. I'm like, hello, motherfucker. And he's like, hello. I'm like, sir, get the hell away from my car. It, all of the, the big ass parking lot, why you so close to my goddamn car, sir? I'm like, please don't make me have to run today for this camera. Between that and all these damn birds out here trying to commit suicide, don't do that shit on my watch. Y'all wait for another car to fly low in front of. 
so I'm, away, I'm on my way back to the palace um it's not even 10 o'clock yet it's almost it's like 9 57 and i'm almost back to the house this this is it's feeling it's giving productive it's giving you got your ass up and got your ass out i'm really liking it the walmart lines wasn't no lines the aisles were clear everybody was quiet i like that i like that a lot did I hook my computer up to my TV like I said I was gonna do five damn days ago? No. You know what I don't like? Motherfuckers will stare but don't say shit. Like, bitch, it's not the hair, cause y'all was doing this shit beforehand. But it's like to stare and not say shit and then every hour I go down your ass mysteriously pop up in that owl. It's like it's giving coward. And I can't I can't tolerate I can't tolerate a coward. I cannot. I cannot. It 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 itch my ass. I can't do it. I can't tolerate a coward. I do my hair in all honesty. I know that the way that I wear my hair will attract a certain type of energy from men and attract a certain type of man. And I just honestly feel like the type of man that I want to approach me do not be in the vicinity. And so they just look and that's it. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because I don't want no scrubs, okay? A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Am I gonna unpack my groceries with y'all? Nope, because it's the same shit. It's the same shit. I just re-upped on some stuff and y'all saw me y'all saw me scanning and shit so that's what I got you know what I thought about I was thinking about all of the men that are in my life they are all men that have been around since I was like 16 since we both were like around that age 16, 17, 18. Every, every man that I keep in contact with, every man that I've talked to, these are men that have absolutely been around. And I always be like, wondering like, why won't y'all just move the fuck around when I'm asking you to move the fuck around? And their response is always like, this has been, not bitch, but you know, it's been 20 some years since we've known each other so I'm not going anywhere I'm not going anywhere you can leave but when you get back I'm gonna be right here it's always giving that vibe always giving that vibe and I guess I can be I can feel fortunate about that that I have people in my life that have been in my life for that long but there are certain men who have been in my life for that amount of time that I don't want to deal with anymore and haven't wanted to deal with. And they keep, they, they, it's, it's giving lost because they keep circling the block. It's giving lost. It's like, it's still a no. It's still a, why is this bird walking? Because you want to commit suicide. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? What the fuck are you walking for, bitch? You a bird. Fly. That's why you got the wings. Anywho, if you keep circling the block and you're getting the same answer, at this point, it's, it's not persistence. You're just being fucking irritating and agitating because if I've been telling you for eight, nine, 10, 11 years, now nah, I'm good, and you steady circling the block, the calls have become way more infrequent, which I appreciate, but you still... You're still circling the block, still circling that block. I'm gonna need you to go to another block. Get another block, find another block, go to another block, make another block, be on another block. Stop coming to this block. And I'm trying to be the bigger person now. You know, my, my go-to was always, I'm gonna block your ass. So hey y'all, my camera got too hot. But like I was saying, my go-to has always been I'm block your ass. And me trying to be a bigger person now, it's like, I don't wanna block you, I want you and me to be at an understanding and I want you to be mature enough to say you know what she doesn't want me to call her anymore so I'm not gonna call her anymore if it's been a consistent no maybe my issue is even me answering the phone like 
why are you still calling me that in itself is opening up the lines of communication so it's like maybe i shouldn't even do that i don't block people for me um i block people for them time is not an apology for me you coming back around and your ass was on block and i and i graciously unblocked you for whatever reason i don't even know sometimes i i i know that i will block a person and then i unblock them because i'm like it's been so long they're not gonna call no more but then i have to sit with myself and be like then why not just leave them on block why are you unblocking them are you opening up yourself to have communication with this person because what the fuck is the point of me unblocking them when they've been blocked and it's like i'm gonna unblock you but i still don't want you to talk to me so it's that part for me i need to do some reflection on that part why do i unblock somebody after i block them even though i still when i unblock them i still be like i still don't want you to call me do i subconsciously want you to call me so i unblock you I done made a breakthrough. I need to do some shadow work on that. Yeah.